Good morning, y'all. It is, what's today, Thursday? No, it's Wednesday, y'all. It's Wednesday. I'm a day ahead of myself. Uh, it feels like Thursday. I've been super busy this week. Monday, I did work like a two hours, maybe, and I didn't record because I had the whole fam with me. Tuesday, we did not work. I did not work at all. Um, we had plans with patients. That seems to be the day um, that we do stuff with patients is Tuesdays. It's usually a slow day anyways, and today is Wednesday. I'm out here 10 o'clock, and I got my first order at the Publix in Groveland for $32 for one order, like two miles, 39 items, 51 units. It's a, it's a big one, but it's for $32, y'all. So I'm like, yes, I will take that. I snatched it up super quick. So I'm about to head inside and start shopping. So, so far I have 13 things left and I have those two things full on the bottom with like fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables and Gatorade. I didn't want to squish the cupcakes because it's a 12 pack. So I'm trying to pack the inside of the cart pretty light. Okay, so I got that dropped off. I got finished shopping in about 38 minutes and I think they gave me about 45. So I was like, perfect timing. I still had to get in line and check out. So I'm sure it was about a 45 minute process for the whole thing. Um, I was trying to go in and start shopping as I usually do. And I accidentally hit start shopping when I was walking in. Um, so I didn't have a choice. So really the timer started before I even walked in the store. Um, I had a hard time finding one thing because the picture wouldn't blow up bigger usually when you click on it it'll bring it up and give you all the info and then if you click on the picture it'll bring it up bigger so you can see it and it was not working finally found it I thought it was meatless chicken tenders um, but it was actually just chicken tenders with a cauliflower coating <laughs> I thought they were cauliflower chicken tenders like fake chicken you know um, so I was kind of looking in the wrong spot um, got that dropped off $32 I pulled up I brought up like two or three bags and then the car started automatically that you know for the person that lives there and I'm like uh oh I wasn't blocking them but they I told her I was on my way so I don't know why she was trying to leave or if somebody else was still home I don't know but they brought all the groceries in and then they were leaving looks like they had got uber or Starbucks too because they were, had Starbucks in the bag, but I don't know if it was Uber or they went and got Starbucks, which I wouldn't think so, because why would they be home? I don't know. Anyways, $32, I am done with that order, and I am ready for my next one, y'all. I'm heading back to that Publix, but I'm not gonna sit there. I'm gonna drive back towards Claremont to see, um, but maybe I'll get another one from this one. That would be nice, because I'm right here. So I snagged a shop only for the same Publix, so I just had to make a quick U-turn. I was I had just passed the spot to make the U-turn, so I have to I had to go to the next one. Um, it's for seven dollars, but it's only like four items, seven dollars and change for four items. I'm like, okay, that's not bad. Four items, six units, and I should be done with this in like ten minutes. So today, so far, is starting off pretty good, y'all. I am done with that order. It took me all of eleven minutes, maybe, um, and that's because I. I grabbed the wrong beer I couldn't tell in the little picture that it said that it was light beer so I had to walk back not very far maybe like 15 steps y'all I was still at the end of the aisle um, grab the light beer and then get it all put up so I am at $40 right now on Instacart which is pretty awesome because I've been having a hard time grabbing Instacart batches I haven't really been seeing too many um, and now they just sent one for Costco, but I, Costco's in Orlando y'all and I don't know Why they would even give me that like I'm not driving to Orlando for $27 to go 24 more miles to deliver that order That would be insane. So I got my next order. It is a DoorDash. Um, I have a dash scheduled I think it's about two For some reason this order and like one other one the para para has not popped up so I'm not sure if it's gonna go up or not or if it has the possibility to go up I don't know I don't know why it does that but it was 3.7 miles for 675 so I probably would have taken it anyways it's for Wendy's and uh, 
Wendy's is really hit or miss and I haven't been there in a long time so I thought you know what let me just give it a shot half of it is me getting to Wendy's and then the other half will be the delivery the order was ready guys I the longest I had to wait was to get the, some the lady to help me because um, she was doing I guess a drive through order so she said she would be right with me and she took the order from like you know where they have the fries and stuff with the light to keep it hot so that's where it was and I'm heading to deliver now it's let's see I think I know right where I'm going to but I'm not 100% 1.7 miles you guys for this drop off and it's a handed to me not my favorite kind but I don't mind them money is money y'all when you're delivering as long as it makes sense so while i was getting gas i took an order i hit get directions and now the order has disappeared i don't know what happened to it at all um i closed out doordash and opened it back up and the order is not there very strange to me so i don't know um Maybe they canceled it and I didn't see that. I don't know, it's, it's strange y'all. Cause I know I took it cause I hit get directions and that's where the directions is taking me. So weird. It doesn't say that they canceled it or anything. That's weird. I don't know what happened to it y'all. So I guess I'm not doing that order uh, unless it decides to come back, I don't know. Let me try closing it out again and trying again. Let's see. Now they're sending me advanced auto parts on Uber. So that's a definite no. $2 for three miles on Uber. No, I'm not doing that. No, the order is really gone. It was an order for Uncle Kenny's barbecue for three miles for $7. Um, but I don't know what happened to it, y'all to wait a few minutes for my next order but I finally got one that I accepted it did take a lot of declining um, it paused my dash because I declined so many I just went back online right away but I took one for New York Chinese restaurant for three miles and change for six dollars and 75 cents so it's about the same as the barbecue place that I was taking but I still don't know what happened to that one um, so I'm gonna do this one and hopefully I was trying to get an Instacart because I'm literally sitting in Publix Plaza, but it did not work out that way y'all. My next order is up. I'm heading back to Wendy's for an order for, I think it was 2.9 miles for $6.75. I was just across the street at the Walgreens using the bathroom when I took it. So I'm at the light now to shoot across and then over. Otherwise I have to go down and make a U-turn. So this should be a lot faster than having to do that. My next order is up. I'm heading to Winn-Dixie for a corner shop order. Um, that Wendy's order took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but she apologized. She's like, you know, it's not usually like this, so I'm not going to complain. Um, they were the working on an order, but it didn't right. turn out to be mine. So the dasher that came in after me got his food right away because that's the order they thought was mine. Um, but I'm heading to Win uh, Win Dixie for a corner shop for 1.3 miles to the store, 3.6 miles to the customer, hopefully. Um, six products for $12.14. That says included, tip is included in the estimated earnings, but sometimes that's wrong. So we'll see what the tip is actually afterwards. Um, but I'm heading to Dixie now, y'all. All right, y'all, it has been a little while. I did kind of go offline for probably like an hour. I had a couple errands to run and it was like a slow period in the day anyways. 
So it worked out good. I was at Hobby Lobby and I got my next order um, at the liquor store, which is in the same plaza as Hobby Lobby. So that was perfect. Um, I was still looking at Hobby Lobby, but I was like, you know what? Let me just go take this. Let me go check out what I really needed anyways um, and what I went there for. And that's it. Um, I got some pretty, pretty pink. Um, vinyl I'm gonna put them on some shot glasses oh my gosh it's so pretty um, and then I got two shirts because I have to make two shirts um, for this order that's like never ending y'all it's really good and I'm happy about it but they they keep adding stuff so it's like we'll have it like everything ordered and halfway made and then they're like oh by the way you know can we get two of these or one of these or you know here's more labels we need um, so anyways, that was that. I think I told y'all about all the orders that I've done. It's been, it's been a minute, y'all. My dash ended at two o'clock. So it's, it's been that long since I've done an order since about two o'clock. So now this one I'm doing is $12 for 4.5 miles, two items from the liquor store. So I was in and out of there. And I'm heading to deliver it and I should be done with this in less than 15 minutes. It says nine minutes to get there, but traffic, so you never know. All right, Joss, so I don't know if I told you that I was heading back to Winn-Dixie for another small corner shop, but I just finished shopping and I'm heading to deliver. Um, let me see here, I gotta see where I'm going. I mean, I know where I'm going, but to go out anyways. It was, let me go to my photos. Let's see, 3.2 miles to the store because I had just finished or almost finished. I think I had just finished dropping off the alcohol order and it was a gift order. So that was interesting, um, but I scanned his ID. He was actually on the phone with the person who sent him the alcohol. Um, but it was 3.7 miles to the customer, which is more like four because the way I have to go, I can't go in the, you know, the residence only entrance. So it was four items, 10 units all together. No, 13 units all together. It was 10 packs of frozen bagel bites, the nine count, and then three Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Their instructions say to just leave it at the door because they have COVID, so you bet your dollar I will be setting it at the door. <laughs> they didn't have one of his ice creams and he responded back. I did send the replacements. I sent like a bunch of them that were kind of related um, to what he asked for, but they did not have. Um, so got that done. I was in and out. I did use the restroom while I was there. That didn't take me very long, so. Um, heading to drop this off now I should be done with this in about 10 minutes yeah. uh, my next order I think I declined it because it, it was five dollars and change and then I my dash ended at six so I was done with that then they I was able to get on another dash now from six to nine and they resent me this same order, I'm pretty sure, because it looks like it's going to the same place. I am heading toward there. I'm at the light. Um, for 2.8 miles for $6 this time, but the pickup time says by 5.50, y'all, and I didn't even take the order until 6.02. My screenshot is at 6.02. I don't know if y'all can see that, but right now it is 6.07. I'm heading there now. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody got off of the order, maybe something is wrong with the order. I guess I'm gonna find out when I get there because if somebody else just got off it, I don't know if DoorDash is gonna know that maybe something is wrong, I don't know. But I'm about to pull into Buffalo Wild Wings now. I don't know, but it was ready for me, so that's good, and I'm heading to drop it off. It's uh, hand it to me, but leave it at my doorstep. So I, I, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. that works. Um, I will definitely be recording this drop off because I don't want no funny business. Oh, they just texted me their gate code. 
Okay, that's nice. You don't have a blinker on, so I hope you're going straight. Yes, you are. Thank you. All right. Anyways, I'm heading to deliver. It is 1.8 miles away. So that was rough because that apartment complex is so hard to see numbers on the buildings. I had to message them and ask them what building number they were and then where it was at because I had no idea. Um, got that dropped off, got a picture of it at the door, the food and everything. Um, now I'm at Chick-fil-A, which was at the end of the street for 4.5, oh my gosh y'all, 4.5 miles for 7.75. So I'm about to head inside now. Pickup time is by 6.33 and it's 6.31 right now. So that order was not quite ready when I went in there and then I had to wait a couple minutes and then I saw the notification pop up on my screen saying her order was ready for pickup and I'm like, I'm um, standing right in front of the pickup area. No, it's not. So they say it's ready and then they finish it up and put it on the shelf. That's how they work, I guess, or that's how he worked anyways, because that's what he did. Um, I'm heading to deliver now and it's 4.1 miles, which is about 10 minutes. I don't know if anybody else is having an issue with para like Sarah, but mine is saying that DoorDash is offline or something. So I have no para, so I have to just do it old fashioned way. Good thing. Sorry, I was going over a seat bump. Somebody was coming in because they didn't leave me a gate code. I feel like I was just in this neighborhood the other day and they didn't leave me a gate code, but then I messaged them and they messaged me back with one. I don't understand people. Like, you know you live in a gated community. Why don't you leave a gate code or a name to look up? Because DoorDash definitely don't give you a name. I don't know if people don't know that or what. Um, but I'm almost to deliver now. I'm 0.4 miles away. I'm in the neighborhood and I'm ready for my next one. if y'all could see it in the video I tried to record it but she actually opened the garage right as I was walking up and I just handed her the food and I did get more for that order so that was pretty nice I got 825 for that drop off I think I just waited probably about 10 minutes for a good order or a decent order I shouldn't even say good I would say decent maybe 15 minutes I don't even know um, they've been sending a lot of doubles, but they're long miles, so I'm afraid to take them because I don't want to go 10 miles and then it doesn't go up, you know? So, I got one for $7. I think it was like 3.9 miles or something like that. So, I am heading to Paisano's Stone Fired Pizza now to pick it up. I just have to cross the street which is probably going to be hard because I have two people on the other side of the street that want to turn so and I need to go straight and there's traffic coming from both ways so as soon as I can get there pick up is by 725 it's 721 I guess I could turn as well but I would prefer to go straight honestly actually I can go now they went one car went their car had to wait their turn so, so all right that worked out well i'm happy about that so heading to paisanos i just gotta pull in the plaza and i shall be there so after i dropped off that order which they didn't leave me a gate code but the gate was open so that was good i don't like that apartment complex either because the numbers they're all mixed up um, but i got 725 for that order so the total was higher than the seven dollars so that's always nice and then I went to the Publix, so it's like a half a mile more up the road to use the bathroom. I had a sweet tea, so it just runs right through you. And I left, and I was heading back towards like 50, because that's where all the restaurants and stuff are. And I got an order on Instacart for $17, three miles, nine items, nine units. What? That is an awesome order. 
then right w before I started to record, they sent me an add-on order for another $14 for 0 0.8 miles, more items. It's eight items, 20 units. So all together, I'm getting 29 things for a total of 17, so 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So we'll say like $32. So the item count is less than what I'm getting for the payment. So that's awesome. That's always a good thing. Um, about $32 for about 29 items. I'll take that any day. I just went ahead and went offline with Uber Eats, with Corner Shop, and with DoorDash because with this order, that should put me at like... 142 144 something like that um so i still have the two orders that i did with corner shop and the tips don't pop up for like six hours so i should have hit my goal after i've done with this so i'm just gonna head home i was going to try and stop by the dollar tree by in groveland but i don't think i'm gonna make it because it's gonna be eight o'clock in one minute and um, Dollar Tree closes I think at 9 so I'm probably going to miss Dollar Tree so in the morning I have to go to Leesburg so I don't know if I'm gonna stay in Leesburg I need to go pick up some vinyl that I ordered so I don't know y'all I might stay in Leesburg and work half a day over there and then go home and then do sh dinner shift in Claremont or I might just stay in Leesburg all day. I really don't know because I have a couple things still that I need to do for this order and we're trying to get it all turned in by Friday. So, uh-oh, where are you going? <laughs> They're riding on the cart. <laughs> Sorry y'all, my phone was a dinging away, but I'm here at Publix, so I'm gonna run in and try and get this done really quick. you guys so i'm gonna try and do a very quick outro today was a pretty good day i think i was out for a little bit longer than i wanted to be uh, let me silence my notifications um but i did hit my goal finally <laughs> um with doordash i did two different dashes one was 21.75 one was 21.50 so that equals 43 dollars and 25 cents for six orders on Instacart, I did 85, 87 in four batches. That last one was amazing. I don't even think that it took me an hour. <laughs> um, and then with Corner Shop, I did two orders. And it's weird because I have the tip from the second order, but not the first one. So I don't know if the first one maybe is not tipping um, because the total is lower than the estimated with the tip so i don't know what's going on there maybe it'll pop up tomorrow um but as of right now i have 24.74 on corner shop with two orders the second person um they left me i think a seven dollar tip so that was nice so my total for the day and i did take a break in between like the slow time because i had a bunch of errands i needed to run um was 153.86 it might go up a little bit more just if that person tips or not i don't know but i hit my goal and that's all that matters to me um i worked from about 10 till about 8 30 nine hours ish online only because i did go offline for about an hour and a half in the middle I did 12 deliveries, so my average for the nine hours would be about $17. And then my average for the 12 trips would be about $12.82. So I had a really good day. Um, I feel like there was something I'm missing. I don't know yet though, but I, um, anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Oh, Para. 
Para. Yes, Para went down today for me with DoorDash. It still hasn't came back up. It sent me like a little, like when I go on Para, it, there's like a little thing at the top that says that they're working on it. So maybe tomorrow it'll be better. I do need to go to Leesburg tomorrow still, like I told y'all. So we're going to see how that tomorrow is going to go. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. If I could speak, y'all have a great night. A young boy being may dream. And in the dream... <laughs>